the, where are the things? There were reports on Friday that Ongwen would be flown to The Hague immediately. But this did not happen as planned. He first traveled to Bangui, the capital of Central African Republic. Bangui where he spent a few days. On Tuesday afternoon, Ongwen was then flown to The Hague in the Netherlands, where he was received by the court register of the ICC, Hermann von Herbel, who said that, the court welcomed these joint efforts of the African Union forces, the United States of America, the Belgium government and the United Nations for the stabilization of the Central African Republic for being instrumental. He added that this is a concrete expression of the international community's commitment to the pursuit of justice. The president of the Assembly of State Parties to the Rome statue, Siddiqui Kaba, strongly welcomed the transfer of Dominic Ongwen to the custody of the court, which constitutes an important success for the Rome statue system nearly 10 years after the issuance of the warrant of arrest against him. The affected communities will have the opportunity to see international justice address the horrific violence that took place in Uganda. Now that Ongwen has arrived in The Hague, he will receive a medical visit. Thereafter, he will go to the court and later appear before the judges in the presence of a defense lawyer. During the initial appearance hearing, the judges of pre-trial chamber 2 will verify the identity of the suspect and the language in which he is able to follow the proceedings. Dominic Ongwen will be informed of the charges against him. The judges will also schedule a debt for the opening of the confirmation of judges hearing, a preliminary step to decide whether the case will be transferred to a trial or not. The date of the initial appearance hearing will be announced soon. More research all in TV at one.